during the night where and with whom I don't know I have, I have fallen from the reason not to drink to the cause of it in just a few short months I told you I was going out dancing but there's only flesh against flesh no face that is you no desire I listen now for night ambulances screeching tires and the old and the sound of your old car which doesn't come and doesn't come go west when the familiar gets old and familiar old and familiar and disinterested disinterested and almost bored bored and not listening not listening and not caring not caring and ignoring and ignoring and then sneering and sneering and making love becomes a duty a duty to perform once or twice a month regardless of desire desire something that happened way back then friend it is time for a change no matter how feathered the nest how comfortable the known it is time to climb over the horizon into the sunset <laughs> but Gaffney read this and he uh, uh, he picked this line out he said well, I, I do need to perform once or twice a month regardless of a desire he said well there's still desire there <laughs> he picked that one line out <laughs> okay I, I, I always like this poem I, I don't know why but I did <laughs> it's called puke <laughs> that rhyme is with puke as he often says he doesn't like people of course I know he's told me often he says they make him puke I don't mind him not liking people what I mind is his regurgitating his dislike of them on me many things make many pe different people puke they take it kindly be behind the bathroom door a welcome audience to the puking will never be and if I, being of the human type, also makes his stomach turn, he, with his good sense, should stay away. Mm. <laughs> Steamy river flowing my veins, hot and furious, but man, for what do you need to be a machine? Fury spits from my tongue as I refuse the comfort of lazy habit. Wake up, man, wake up, you sons of women. Meet me in life a match to my rage. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Early rises. Every morning that thing of yours gets up with a bird. First tweet, tweet, it stands up and starts dancing worse than an alarm clock. I can turn, I can reach over and turn an alarm clock off, but it wants recognition. I turn to kiss you, and there's nobody home. I know a cock doesn't have a mind, yet it wakes up independently with rhythm and beat to do a dance on my ass. I feel I should get in motion, but I've got to admit, my baby is a late sleeper. Likes to wake with a wisp of a feather, sweet music, and a breeze. It is never really going to understand early risers jumping up with a goddamn bird. This is called When These Lazy Days Are Over. When these lazy days of laying and loving and talking with you are over, I will remember the way you tilted your head when you te teased me, the way you said, let's take five. The curl of your hair, the patting of your hands, the beautiful curve of your mouth, and the long hours of making love, our bodies locked. I remember you bringing me coffee in bed among the books and papers, then coming to bed wet a steaming red lobster after a too hot bath. The way you could make me laugh, knowing your face and body so well, and sleeping so close, turning as one, this and so much more I will remember, the days passing too fast, and how we lavishly used hours and days and weeks just being together. to go on the track with Bukowski and uh, uh, my dad had race horses so I liked race horses long before uh, uh, Bukowski because my dad had owned race horses but I, I kind of blame him for getting me to gambling because I wasn't really <laughs> 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 good at it. He's a and he doesn't even come through from the other world and give me winners or anything anymore. I don't know it's, <laughs> it's distressing <laughs> dad, I I borrowed $65 from Bukowski today, bet it on a lead-ass horse who didn't show. 
Then I had to borrow five dollars more to eat and feed my kids, and that doesn't count the hundred and forty I borrowed last week, which I'm to pay back five dollars a week for the next six months. I'm get I'm getting so far in debt to him I can't afford him anymore. <laughs> I used to borrow on a rent when he owed me before he moved out, and he's still using a bed. Now I get mad and I said, "Go to hell! Just try and get that money." And we split. I feel good. I forget about my debt. But I begin to miss him, and we get back together, and he doesn't forget. <laughs> I owe the money all over again. But if he will loan me the money tomorrow, there's a short thing running in the fifth race. Uh, an exacta, five nine nine five. Run for the money, and Prince Banton. And I can pay him back in one lump sum. <laughs> Well, talk to Biden. Okay. Big museum loves you. <laughs> this is pretty good. The day, this day is shot. This day, this day has had it. This day has gone sour, and I'm going to fuck it up, eat up more. I'm going out dancing to swirl and and, and flirt and and swing, and you're going to be so tired from the track that you're going to bed. But I love to dance, and you love the track. I will dance, and you will bed. I won't object to your sport, and you won't object, uh, object to mine. I'll see you when I get back in the morning, hopefully before you leave for the track. I'm sorry I can't wait for you to come home at, at, from the horses like a good woman and have a hot dinner waiting, but we're not married, and a good wife I am not. I may be a good thought, but I might even lack that ability. I realize the last few months have been dominated by your <coughs> by your desires, and I'm getting meaner by the day because I have I have given up all the things I like to do in favor of all the things that you li uh, like to do. These feet like to dance, and dance they will. Dance, dance, dance. You said I would give you a hard time. Couldn't help it. You're fine. I can't help it. It's good not to be married so that I might please myself. I have a ten-year-long habit of trying to do what a man likes, but it's useless. Naturally, you will assume it as a break, and, and you will run out to get as drunk as possible, but it's just another form of your blackmail to keep me in line, you bad boy. If you get thirsty, drink. I can't worry if it kills you. It will kill you sooner or later anyway. If, drink, if, if you die because I go dancing, it will only mean that dancing is one. Drink like the wind, drink like the stream, drink, I demand you drink and get deliciously drunk so that your mind blacks out and your soul flees. Drink, my darling, you can find many nurses. Drink like you are God. And like how you sat with your bottle of beer, it is such a dramatic picture, the horses, the beer, and the bad women. That's all a poet needs. I am the bad woman. I have gone out to be bad so that you can write more powerfully still. Still, I do this for you. <laughs> and then I went dancing. <laughs> you're dancing, you're on the floor, and you hear the music throbbing, beating, swirling. You get a hold of it like a contest with every instrument in the band. Beat with a guitar, throb with a bass, sing with a fiddle. Everything in motion, feet flying, arms in rhythm, everything swinging. With your partner stepping as one, dance and following you and swaying, you get your head swirling, your eyes talking, your hair churning, your breath flopping. You're not a person. Your song, your music, your beat, your sound, your rhythm, all the tunes you want to play, you're playing. All the notes you want to sing, you're singing. But you're doing it with body all turned loose, every part of rolling and moving and pitching and climax and a fear of music. His music, their music, your music. God Almighty, this fool loves to dance. <laughs> um, from top to bottom, 